Hello everyone, welcome to MS Aptive Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to assign or remove Azure Active Directory role to user or group using Azure AD Portal. In Azure Active Directory, if one of your users needs permission to manage Azure Active Directory resources, you must assign them to a role that provides the permission they need it. An Azure Active Directory role is a collection of permissions which define what user or group can do or don't. You typically assign Azure Active Directory role so that they apply to the entire Active Directory tenant. However, you can also assign Azure AD roles for different resources such as administrative units or application registrations, which we will see in the upcoming videos. So let's see the steps to assign global administrator role to user named Manerakulia in Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. From the Azure Active Directory portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role in this video and that we can confirm here. A common way to assign Azure Active Directory roles to a user is on the Assign Roles page for User. Under Manage, click on Users. Select the user getting the role assignment, for example, Manhar Rakulia. On the Profile page, click on Assign Roles. We can see no directory role is currently assigned to this user account. Select Add Assignments. Select the role to assign to Manhar Rakhulia. We will select Global Administrator. Let's select the checkbox in front of Global Administrator. After selecting the directory role, click on Add. We can see the confirmation message successfully added assignment Global Administrator to this user Manhar Rakhulia. The global administrator role is assigned to Manhar Rakhulia and it will appear on the administrative roles page. If role does not display in the page, then click on refresh to see the updated list of assigned roles to this user. We can see global administrator role is successfully assigned to Manhar Rakhulia. From here, you can also remove the assigned roles. For that, you just need to select the checkbox in front of the role and click on Remove Assignment to remove it. Uh, let me close it. Uh, I think I have assigned Application Developer role to Test User 1. Let's click on Test User 1. Click on Assign Roles. Ok, Application Developer role is assigned to Test User 1 which we want to remove. So select the checkbox in front of Administrative role and click on Remove Assignments. On confirmation window, click yes. Wait for the confirmation message. Here we can see successfully removed assignment application developer. Similarly, we can assign role to the group using the assigned roles in the group properties. There is also another method to assign Azure Active Directory role. Let's see that. Uh, first, I'm going to close it. Click on Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Roles and Administrators. Here, you will get the list of all administrative roles which are used for granting access for privileged actions in Azure Active Directory. Let's search for Help Desk Administrator role. Click on Help Desk Administrator, who can reset passwords for non-administrators and Help Desk Administrators. Let's click on it. Click on Add Assignments. Select the user or group you want to assign Help Desk Administrator role to. In this video, I'll select Parita Boda. After selecting the user, click on Add. Remember, if you want, you can select multiple users at the same time as well. I'm going to remove it. Let's select only Parita Boda and click Add. Wait for the confirmation message. Successfully added assignment Parita Boda. 
Here we can see the user who got the help desk administrator role, Parita Bota. This is how you can assign role to user or group from the roles and administrators page. So that concludes the video on how to assign or remove Azure Active Directory roles to user or group using Azure Active Directory portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.